going to go over step three in the painting process, and that's caulking. Now you're going to want to caulk your house because it makes it more energy efficient to seal up the gaps around the windows and doors. Also, it just makes it look more solid. You get rid of those gaps in the uh, trim boards and cracks in the foundation, etc. If you're going to sell your house, you want to go through maybe a whole case of caulk, just sealing everything up, making it look real solid and new, and not giving the impression that it's old and worn out and uh, you know, there's big gaps and everything everywhere. Now, equipment that you're going to need for caulking includes, of course, a caulk gun. I like the dripless kind. I like this 35-year silicon paintable caulk. You're going to need a brand new razor knife to cut the tip off. You're going to need a bucket of water and a rag. And also, you're going to want a dry rag to put on your belt loop to wipe your fingers throughout the day. Also, of course, you need a five-way and a putty knife. As always, it's helpful to have along on any uh, phase of the painting job. Now, when you cut the tip off, you just want to go back maybe a quarter inch, uh, three-eighths of an inch, do it at an angle. All right, now as we go around the house, I'm going to point out a few spots that commonly need caulking. And I'm going to demonstrate how to do it and make it look real neat. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Okay, let's go outside. You're going to want to caulk anywhere the corner boards meet the siding. See that crack in there? You can follow it all the way down in there. It got wider where I dug the old caulk out. Now here's a good example of some corner board that could use some caulking. Just look a lot better. Get down there. It's probably never caulked. I mean, when you're trying to sell a house or something, that stuff just looks ugly. Now, a lot of houses will have gaps between the pieces of siding. This house happens to have these little covers over the gaps, but on a lot of houses, they're caulked. And over time, that caulk separates and dries out and creates a crack. So you're going to want to hit any joints in the siding as well. Now, one spot you do not want to caulk are these natural gaps underneath the siding there. Just leave those alone. Now one common place that you're going to want to look at for caulking are along the edges of door frames here where it meets the siding. Don't put too much on, but make sure you get enough to fill any cracks. Take your bucket with your rag, get your finger a little wet. Get a glop out there on the siding, rub it in, get it all smooth. Now some people don't rub the caulk in with their fingers like this. They just run a bead and they end up with this kind of gloppy looking worm. I don't like that. I always rub it in, smooth it out with my fingers. I also like to caulk in the door jams here. Mostly on the outsides of houses you'll find that they never really got caulked. They just kind of slapped it together because it was the outside. They didn't figure anybody would ever notice. Some people think I'm picky, but you know, it only takes a second. You run it down. You rub it in. And then when you paint it, you're not going to see any crack there. It's going to look solid. It's going to look tight. It's not going to look worn out with big gap. Here we've got a window frame. Same thing as the door frame. You're going to want to check all four sides and make sure there isn't any openings or cracks or gaps around it anywhere. Handy thing to have along with you, which I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, is a little duster brush. So you can dust areas before you caulk them, because if you caulk on top of dust or dirt, it's not going to stick. Bucket hooks can be handy when you're working up on the ladder. Hook your bucket on there with your rag and your water and you can hook the caulk gun right on there too. Okay, so now you know 
know how to caulk your house prior to painting. This is a very important step, not only for energy efficiency and get rid of the draftiness, but also just to improve the look of your house. Now, you can visit my website, howtopaintahouseright.com, where you'll find a lot of helpful information. You'll find free PDFs, complete written instructions, equipment lists, paint estimator sheets, as well as a whole series of videos designed to help you paint your house right.